Anheuser-Busch CEO Michel Daucaris addressed the Bud Light controversy on an earnings call with investors Thursday, downplaying the brand's partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney that prompted a boycott from conservatives. Daucaris told investors there is misinformation spreading on social media about the company's team-up with Mulvaney. We need to clarify the facts that this was one camp, one influencer, one post and not a campaign, Daucaris said. The CEO said Anheuser-Busch is providing direct financial support to the frontline workers impacted by the boycott, naming delivery drivers, sales representatives, wholesalers, bar owners and servers. Daucaris said the brewing giant will triple media spending on advertising for Bud Light over the summer, confirming reports that the company is planning a major marketing push to recover its brand. Bud Light remains embroiled in controversy after the brand sent Mulvaney a personalized pack of beer with the influencer's likeness as part of an ad for the company's March Madness contest and to celebrate a year since Mulvaney began identifying as a woman. After the partnership went viral. Anheuser-Busch lost some billion in market value amid calls for a nationwide boycott, and bars and distributors across the country reported significant drops in Bud Light sales. The backlash led the brand to shake up its marketing team. And Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth published a lengthy statement hoping to tamp down the animosity aimed at Bud Light and its parent company. Daucaris said it was too early to tell how the boycott affected Bud Light sales but was bullish that Anheuser-Busch will quickly recover from any setback. He reminded investors that the company has navigated global challenges including temporary bans on beer sales in certain countries and shutdowns of bars and restaurants across